When the Netflix docu-series Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness premiered in 2020, it became a huge hit with audiences thanks to the many scandalous tales woven through its real-life narrative. These tales involved many people surrounding the titular Tiger King, some of whom have tragically died since filming began. A few died after the series premiered, while one died during the filming of its first season. Join Trender as we explore all the Tiger cast members who have died. Eric Cowie those who watched the first season of Tiger King will remember Eric Cowie was the head zookeeper of Tiger King Joe Exotic's zoo. Of course, the series followed the exploits of entrepreneur Joe Exotic, who made a living operating a for-profit tiger zoo and came under controversy for performing some illegal activities. As head zookeeper, Eric Cowie was involved with some of these illegal activities, including the killing of tigers. Eric is one of the cast members who has died since the show's premiere. He died in September of 2021, over a year after the premiere of the show's first season on Netflix. His cause of death has been revealed as acute and chronic alcohol abuse, which was a remnant of a time long before the man had met Joe Exotic. In order to keep his operations cheap, Joe was notorious for hiring ex-convicts. Eric had stumbled upon his gig as a zookeeper thanks to a Craigslist ad. Down on his luck and with few prospects, Eric was enticed by the idea of working with Joe Exotic. He was also adventurous enough that he was willing to work with tigers without having any experience. This is the kind of person Joe Exotic preyed upon when seeking employees for his for-profit zoo, and Eric made the perfect stooge. Eventually, Eric worked his way up to head zookeeper. In addition to giving his workers a small wage, Joe Exotic would also let them live on his zoo's property and eat the same trash scraps his tigers did. Eric was found unconscious in his apartment, which is in Brooklyn. He was later pronounced dead. A big part of Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness's first season was the conviction of Joe Exotic for the unjustified murder of several tigers at his zoo. Given that Eric was the head zookeeper, he was involved in these killings. Eric expressed some amount of remorse for his involvement after the airing of the docuseries' first season, though few were surprised. According to Eric, he was the person the Tigers trusted the most, and he would use that trust against them when it was time for them to be put to sleep to make room for newer and better Tigers. Joe Exotic justified the murder of several Tigers because he didn't have enough resources to feed all the ones he was keeping at his zoo. This is not legal, and Joe was incarcerated for the crime. Both Joe Exotic and, to a lesser extent, Eric Cowie, received a lot of attention in the wake of Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness' first season, with some of it being positive and some negative. Eric claimed he had a hard time adjusting to being noticed on the streets after the release of the first season. Jeff Johnson Shortly after Eric Cowie's death, another person who'd appeared on the first season passed away. But this story is much more tragic. Jeff Johnson died the same month as Eric Cowie, but his death was self-inflicted. It came as a result of a fight the reptile dealer had with his wife. He subsequently shot himself in the head in front of his wife while his children were in bed. Jeff had appeared in the fourth episode of Tiger King's first season. He was brought on to talk about Carol Baskin, better known as Joe Exotic's nemesis. Carol was always one of Joe's biggest detractors and is largely responsible for getting him put behind bars for the murder of several tigers at his zoo. Joe was also locked up for conspiring to have Carol Baskin killed. Jeff was 58 years old at the time of his death and had no history of mental illness. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Trender for a lot more. And stick around for more about the cast of Tiger King. Travis Maldonado In addition to the deaths that have occurred since the show aired, there's also the matter of the notable death that occurred during it. In addition to Joe Exotic's poor business practices, the first season of the docuseries also played plenty of attention to his strange romantic life. In addition to taking advantage of down-on-their-luck people when seeking employees, Joe Exotic also took advantage of down-on-their-luck people when seeking out lovers. Joe has taken many lovers in his life, with most of them being drug addicts and ex-convicts in need of a place to stay. Joe's had several husbands, and two notable ones were featured on the first season. Travis Maldonado is arguably the husband that has met the most tragic fate given his accidental suicide during the filming of Tiger King. Although his death from a self-inflicted gunshot wound was technically an accident, it came as a result of suicidal behaviors. Plainly, Travis didn't care whether he lived or died, which resulted in his accidental passing. Travis had become married to Joe Exotic in a three-way ceremony with another man. He had a history of substance abuse, with his drug of choice being meth. Joe would help him get meth in exchange for Travis being a good husband. Although Travis was kept satisfied by being provided the substances he was addicted to, he grew to hate his life of forced dependency. He felt like a caged animal, similar to the tigers Joe was keeping. 
While Joe had to shoot the Tigers once he was done with them, Travis ended up taking the matter into his own hands and shooting himself. The incident that caused his accidental death saw the man playing with a loaded weapon, knowing full well it could go off. He was severely intoxicated and clearly suicidal. John Finlay was the third husband in the three-way relationship, and both he and Joe Exotic were seemingly devastated by Travis's accidental death. Perhaps seeing the fate that was in store for himself, John decided to break away from Joe after that point. The death of Travis Maldonado occurred during filming of the docuseries' first season, so it subsequently became a huge part of its narrative. Those watching the show for the first time were shocked when the death occurred, and it stood as one of the most memorable moments from the premiere season. Don Lewis Besides the notable death that occurred during filming, there was also the unexplained disappearance and possible death that has made up the bulk of one of the show's plots. That is, of course, the disappearance of Don Lewis, Carol Baskin's husband. As an activist against Joe Exotic and for-profit zoos, Carol has caught the ire of Joe Exotic and others like him. They don't have a lot of ammunition to defend themselves with, so they have to turn to digging up personal dirt to bring Carol down. One of the biggest pieces of dirt they've managed to turn up is the mysterious death of Carol's former husband. Don Lewis and Carol Baskin had a troubled marriage, with the former often flying out to Costa Rica on business and cheating on his wife while there. They certainly didn't get along, and it seems like Carol had many reasons to want her husband dead. In addition to the personal reasons, there were also monetary ones. Shortly before his disappearance, Don supposedly crafted a new will that left millions of dollars to Carol, eschewing his own children. The will suspiciously read that the inheritance should occur in the event of his disappearance, whereas a will would normally stipulate that an inheritance would occur in the event of a verified death. Despite there being some incredibly circumstantial evidence that Carol Baskin was responsible for the murder of her former husband, she has vehemently denied it. There's also simply no solid proof that could get her convicted. But that hasn't stopped Joe Exotic and people like him from doing everything in their power to convince the public Carol was responsible. Before becoming more famous than ever, Joe Exotic used his independent wealth to produce a music video depicting a fictionalized Carol killing and feeding her husband to the tigers she keeps at her sanctuary. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that several cast members from Tiger King have passed away? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.